Hi, and welcome to season four of Work Your Energy podcast. It's a brand new season with a brand new lineup. And I spent the month of August looking at how I could do things a bit differently in this coming year. And so I ran some polls. I asked my listeners what they wanted to hear more of. And I also did some meditating for some intuitive guidance as well. And here are the results of what people wanted to hear more of. So the number one favorite was more of the science behind spirituality. And I think as more people start to spiritually awaken, they, the logical and analytical mind needs to understand some rationality behind it. And with the growing science and evidence of spirituality of our energy body, our energy field, with biofield science, with energy medicine, more and more people are starting to switch on to the absolutely transformational benefits of working with energy, of the energetic body, the energetic self, as indeed I did too four or five years ago. So the second area that people want to hear more about is mental health and eliminating depression. So I think that this is not surprising considering the current situation, the previous situation with COVID, with the lockdown, with studies now showing that lockdown did far more harm to people than COVID ever did. And of course, there's the whole vax, non-vax debate as well, which has absolutely divided families, communities, and even countries. I eliminated my own depression using energy healing, probably in as little as three to six months. And I had been doing traditional methods for about 15 years. I had been doing counseling, working with psychiatrists, psychologists, and none of these had the profound effect that energy healing had on my own mind. And that's for a variety of reasons. As you know, I'm now a certified energy healer. I work with people on their energy and I've also recently written a book which is all about the science behind energy healing so that more and more people can start to wake up to this incredible way of running your life. And the third area which rather took me by surprise is esoteric wisdom and ancient knowledge which I was very pleased about because I'm currently researching the real truth of our world for my next book. There is a staggering amount of evidence that there were advanced ancient civilizations living on this planet thousands of years ago, and that a series of cataclysmic events wiped them out, and at the same time also wiped out the records of our past and who we were in the past. So we are unaware of our true history. I suspect that this is already having an effect on us as a species because of our possible epigenetic memories. I say possible because there is no proof that epigenetics goes back that far. But I do feel that these memories go back much further than we're currently aware of, and our DNA stores everything. DNA is made from water, and water holds all information since time began. And the water that we have on our planet arrived here millions of years ago, which also holds energetic information that our bodies can pick up on too. And that even that there is a deep part of us that knows these memories, that remembers the past, and which I think is also contributing to the difficulties that we have on our planet, in our lives at this moment in time. If you don't know where you come from, if you don't know your true ancestry, I feel that this can contribute to mental health issues, to maybe like feelings of confusion, feelings of just not knowing who you are, not having that strong self-identity. And of course, we already know the collective consciousness and the power that the energy pendulums and the collective consciousness in our world has on our society as a whole. I will still be talking a little bit about money because I'll be relaunching my money program again in January and have promised to run a three-part money mindset series, which I'll be running in December. And I'm also going to be having some new guest speakers on to talk about energy, consciousness, hidden knowledge, esoteric wisdom, mental health, and multidimensional reality. Because for me, they all go together hand in hand, and I don't put these 
into different categories. I see the human body, I see our life, I see everything as one holistic thing. And I don't feel that categorizing and grouping is necessarily helping us move forward in this way. One of my big bugbears is that spirituality seems to have become another category or group of people, which as we know, creates divide. It seems to have become another thing to argue about. But spirituality is not a thing or a category. It's simply about your own energy and how learning to work your energy can help you to create a better life for yourself and even help you to create more success by learning how to change, release or channel energy through you and learning how to manage the energies around you. You can make massive shifts in your life far more quickly than working with more traditional methods. So don't think about categories. Think about life and how holistic and multidimensional and multifaceted life is. Okay, so those are the areas we'll be covering in season four as we go deeper and deeper into the invisible field that we exist in and that we create from. And as we start to look at more hidden knowledge and esoteric wisdom, which of course creates what we know of ourselves today. So we'll start next week with how to ground yourself properly. And we'll look at why grounding is absolutely essential for good health, more success and a better life on this planet. In the meantime, have a great week and I'll catch up with you soon. Okay, take care. Bye.